Bitu. Hello there. Welcome to Bitu's channel, and I am moderator Jian. Today, I'm gonna give you some tips on how to handle beginner classes effectively in B2. Hmm, have you ever experienced some troubles in handling beginner students? Here are some situations. Hello, welcome to B2. I am moderator Jian, and what's your name? Can you tell me what is your name? Um, hello? Are you there? What's your name? Oh, nice to meet you, Summer. Okay, so Summer, for today, we will talk about a lot of things about yourself. And the first thing is about hobbies. Could you tell me something about your hobby? What do you like to do? How often do you do it? And why do you like doing it? Why are we still here? Just to suffer. Now, if these are your problems, let me show you a way out. Tip number one. Be sure to show your greatest smile. Show them that you are friendly and that they can be comfortable with you. Take note that beginner students are often anxious to start a conversation. Therefore, we moderators create a fun and lively environment so that students can fully trust you. Hello! Welcome to B2! My name is Jian. What's your name? Oh, I see. It's nice to meet you, Summer. <laughs> Tip number two. Use TPR. Total Physical Response or TPR is a method of teaching language by using physical movements to react to a verbal input. Beginners would have limited vocabulary, therefore it is best to represent what you are teaching them by body movements. These can help them better understand what you are saying. Hello? What's your name? What is your favorite food? If you want to initiate some response from your students, you can use... What is it? Is it yes or no? EPRs could also be used during corrections. You can say, Summer, could you try to repeat the word three times? Let's say the word repetition. Repetition, repetition. Excellent. Tip number three. Speak slowly and ask concisely. Speaking too fast can actually scare off your students. Remember that as you talk, Students are actually trying to recognize familiar words from you. Make sure that you keep a slow, steady pace and be direct to the point. However, if the question is too long, try to narrow it down to the shortest way possible. And also, allow some period of silence from your student in each question. Sometimes it's not because they don't want to speak, but because they're trying to think what to say. Tip number four. Encourage your students to speak. Your students may actually just answer with one or two words. And at times you may feel that they're getting frustrated in expressing themselves. If that's the case, you should lead them with basic sentence patterns, such as I am, I live in, I like to, I often go to, and so on. In this way, you hit two birds with one stone by teaching them the right sentence pattern 
and also the students would feel proud of their accomplishment. Tip number five: Teaching has never been fun here in B2. As you know that our team have already provided a topic outline for each of our classes. Therefore, as a moderator, you should be prepared to anticipate that not all the questions in this outline would be answered by a beginner student. Rather, you should be flexible and be able to assess which questions would be suitable for them. Although at times, you may feel that it's quite hard to stay on the topic, right? If that's the case, you may shift to related topics that most likely would allow them to give longer answers. Tip number six. Correct the structure right away, but never ever make the student feel that they made a huge mistake. You should model the right answer and try to encourage them to use it on their own. Where do you live, Summer? In Hanoi. How about saying, I live in Hanoi. That sounds better. Tip number seven, repetitions. As they say, Practice makes perfect. Make sure to appreciate your students whenever you see them trying. You can say, it's okay, let's try one more time. And allow them to have the chance to apply what they learned. And one of the few techniques for that would be a role play. Great job, Summer! Now it's time to practice what you learned. Let's do a role play. Hi, nice to meet you. My name is Jian. What's your name? Nice to meet you, Summer. I am 15 years old. And you are? I see. And where do you live? I'm also from Hanoi. Tip number eight. Last but not the least is to use your tools effectively. Here in B2, we already have the vocabularies in there. Therefore, incorporate these words in your class to allow effective learning. And oh, don't forget about the chat box. These tools, you can use them as a way to communicate with the student, especially if you're adding new words in your class. And also to check if they have questions. And another way is to provide some translations only if necessary. And one of the most vital function of this chat box is to use it for jotting down all the necessary corrections you had during your class. So that's it! These are just few of the teaching strategies that I can share with you on how to handle beginner classes effectively here in B2. Until next time! <laughs>